Welcome back to Dragoonies Bites. Today we're diving into a classic Japanese dish that is crispy, light and absolutely delicious. It's called vegetable tempura. Tempura is one of those dishes that look very fancy, but it's surprisingly easy to make at home. So let's see how you can make it. For my tempura platter, I'll be using a variety of different ingredients. You can choose whichever you like best, of course. I'm using a Japanese eggplant, shiso leaf, button mushrooms, carrots and a shallot. So let's prepare all of them. Firstly, let's cut the eggplants into approximately 7 cm long cylinders and then cut them in half lengthwise. We can also cut the thick stems off of shiso leaves, but that is not necessary. With the mushrooms, cut them into 1 cm thick slices. With the carrots and shallot, I cut them into little strips, which are also called a julienne cut. Mix carrot and shallots together, as we will be frying them in small clumps later. Now that all the vegetables are prepared, let's move on to making our tempura batter. In a bowl, combine 150 grams of flour, 30 grams of potato starch and combine them. To them, add in one large egg, 200 milliliters of fridge cold water and 100 milliliters of cold sparkly water. Adding sparkly water makes the batter more crispy and light. Mix all the ingredients together to combine, but do not overmix. We don't want gluten to form. With this batter, it's very important that all the ingredients are cold, which will result in crispier outer coating. As the oil in the pan is heating up, let's prepare another bowl with potato starch. Once the oil hits 180 degrees Celsius, coat your ingredient of choice into starch and then dip it into the tempura batter. Transfer it gently from the batter into the oil. In this case of shiso leaf, you only need to fry it for a few seconds. Otherwise, it will lose its peppery taste. Once fried, place it onto a wire rack to let the excess oil drip off of it. Next, let's coat, dip and fry the other ingredients that we still have left. For mushrooms and eggplants, you will need to fry them for about 30 seconds to a minute, flipping them around a few times while they fry. For the carrots and the shallot batches, it's okay to take them out at around 30 seconds mark but make sure you constantly check the temperature of the oil so it stays constant at 180 degrees Celsius. Once you've fried everything off, it's time to serve it on the plate. This is all there is to it. Simple, right? You can serve it together with soy sauce, wasabi or any other dipping sauce of your choice. I personally prefer it with just a bit of salt. If you enjoy this recipe, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tasty bites from my kitchen. Until next time, bye bye!